Hey everyone, today we are starting our 100% walkthrough for Immortals Phoenix Rising. This is the very first game I'm covering on the PlayStation 5 and also the first videos I'm releasing in 4K, so I am super excited about this. Now this game was chosen by my Patreon supporters just like all the games I play on this channel, so if you like what I'm doing here and you'd like to throw in some support yourself, I invite you to click the link in the description below, become a patron, and vote on the games I play in the future. Alright, so let's get started. It's checking for additional content. I do have some additional content. I bought the, I forget what it's called, the Gold Edition pre-order, I think, which gave me some extra quests and a season pass. So, that stuff should be available to me. We've got some options here. I'm just going to skip past this some additional options now this is interesting for graphic mode it lets you focus either on performance or quality so if you want to keep those frames high go with performance if you want your visuals to always be prettier go for quality uh, let's see we got subtitles on all the rest of this seems fine to me we're gonna continue all right now at this point if you're not already connected to Ubisoft connect it'll ask you to make an account or connect to yours it's got some additional rewards. I don't know exactly what it's offering, but that is an option to you if you so desire. I joined up with uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, so I don't have to do it. So, let's go with a new game. Alright, difficulty selection. Choose a difficulty by selecting it and pressing X. Now, unfortunately, I can't pick the hardest difficulty, which is Nightmare. Um, because you have to complete the game at least once to unlock this level of difficulty. So that sucks. I hate it when games do this, but oh well. So we're going to have to go with hard. You enjoy a good story, but prefer a greater challenge. This is meant for players with experience playing action slash adventure games. Enemy difficulty is tough. Health regeneration is only the current chunk. Stamina regeneration is default. Fall damage is default. Myth challenge assistance is no assistance in slightly reduced timers. This can be changed later in the options menu. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. Beautiful Hera, Mother Divine, wisest Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker. Celus Artemis, with her deadly aim, set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain dead pigs, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. Help me! Someone help! Someone! None of this is your fault. You're the victim. All the mortals are made in the bone works of who? Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one kill six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble, burn with jealousy, cheat. Fight and murder! They are cruel, vindictive and selfish! And let the heel of Achilles! These witnesses will be there and win! I have no such flaws! The rest have fallen! Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus! Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded boxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth! The one and only Zeus! How I missed you, Prometheus! My favorite cousin! You chained me to this rock! and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. 
He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a froth. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle but had seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Wait, don't tell me. All right, we're at the character creation. So, you can start with the body. This is where you choose male or female. Changing body type reverts the character to default state. Any unsaved changes will be lost. Do you want to continue? So if you've been like changing hair and face and stuff like that, and then you change body, it'll just go back to its default. Body like uh, this. Now, normally I play as male characters because that I just like playing my own gender, but in this case, it really feels like this game in every way was meant to be the female character, so I'm gonna play a female. Body for this one. like this. And I actually, for the most part, like her default state. I might change a few things. Face like. So there's her face. She's got the first one. A face. I can see in my mind. It's very minor differences between the faces. You know, an but I think I like that face. One. I don't know. That was a little softer. A sharp bird. Right, we're gonna go with the third face. I like that one. All right. And then we got hair. Hair like. Uh, now the three hairstyles I like. A waterfall. I think that one's cool. On the cliffs of Santarini. And and I like, I think this one's the default. Yeah, pretty sure that's the default, and then this one's not bad either. Those are the three that I like. I don't know, I might just stick with the default. I'll go with that. Eh, let's go default. Alright, and then you can do facial features if you want, scars, tattoos, there's a few options here. Nothing that I really like. I like her. This is the default, uh... Eyebrows. Eyebrows. I don't really care too much about these. I think the default's probably the best looking. Thick as Narcissus. Or no eyebrows, that's kind of weird. Thin as Tantalus. But we're gonna go with that. And of course there's color options for all this stuff. Has a And then beard. for some reason you can give her a beard. Which is really strange. So yeah, if you want facial hair on your female, go for it. No one's stopping you. All right, and then you can also give her a male voice if you so desire. 
The storm! Wake up! I have to wake up! The storm! Wake or up! Just, I have to or wake just up! just stick with the female one, which is what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so, that is my character. Uh, only one change, really, from the default. Let us proceed. There, I see her clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Bonus content unlocked. Sweet. So I apparently unlocked my uh, pre-order stuff. All right, we have a quest: a stranger shore, reach the top of the cliff. All right. And normally I would explore around and pick up some stuff, but there's not really anything to get down here at the shore. All right, climb with just the left stick. You can see there's stamina on the left side. If you run out, you can't climb anymore and you'll fall. So make sure you don't run out of stamina. Hello, Mr. Stone Guy. Phoenix saw her captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix, again. You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Logogos! Logogos! Can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Legiron, where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. Compass. Use the compass to locate objectives and orient yourself in the world. Let's look at the details for that. Uh, use the compass to locate objectives and areas of interest in your surroundings. Use it to orient yourself and explore the vast island. Alright, cool. So our compass right there is pointing us straight forward 60 meters. My brother's sword! No! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword. A gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm. 
as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in battle. Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just saying. Phoenix looked up. She was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! She readied her sword for her first real fight. I R1 to attack. And square to dodge. Felt her training come into focus. Picked up a blue mushroom there. I should be able to survey the land from up there. Alright, so blue mushrooms give stamina. So if I need it, I can hold right on the D-pad to consume it. All right, so our quest, scout the area from a good vantage point up there. You can see there's some more blue mushrooms hanging out. Discovered messenger of the gods. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, what? totally alone. This young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No, this is important for the sense of atmosphere. All right, got some more blue mushrooms. Climb up here. Another blue mushroom down there, but. They're kind of all over the place, so I'm not going to bother to go get it. Should have no lack of mushrooms. Hermes, my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers. Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. Got some more shrooms, and you can see there's something special over here. What is this? Yeah! <laughs> what is this? It smells like honey, and the first day of spring, and my first kiss, all rolled into one. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please. She can't use it anyway. Yet. Alright, so if you didn't see that pop-up, finding Ambrosia will increase Phoenix's maximum health. Alright, let's get to the top. Just climb up your cheek. Hope you don't mind. Okay, and let's scout. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo! If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? They aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. Okay, hold R3 to use Farsight. Revealing icons. While in Farsight, pay attention to the feedback received while looking at various types of locations. Press R2 to reveal their icons permanently in Farsight. Let's see if there's additional information here. Yes, revealing vaults of Tartarus, Myth Challenges, Ambrosia, or Chess makes their icons visible in Farsight. On the compass and on the map once a region is discovered. While in Farsight, press R2 when locations are revealable. 
All right, so there are a ton of locations to reveal, starting with this. The Big Liar has been revealed. So yeah, we're, we're gonna find just a freaking ton of stuff. There's a chest over there. So as I move around, you'll see it start to glow and you'll get some vibration on the controller and then you just gotta figure out where the thing is. There's a chest. I just saw another one. That was weird though. It popped away super quick. There we go. Ambrosia. Although it's not showing the icons for some reason. That's weird. It should be showing the icons. Let's see. Hide completed? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, well, it's showing that icon. Oh, okay. I don't know why the other ones aren't showing, but whatever. All right, what else can we find? There's something over here. Boom. Navigation challenge revealed. Ambrosia revealed. You can see they kind of shimmer for a second. Ambrosia there. Yeah, the icons are acting strange. They're not quite working. But whatever. As long as we reveal the stuff, it should pop up on my map regardless. Oh, there's something right there. Vault of Tartarus. That's the chest. Chest. Small liar. I actually don't know what any of this stuff is yet. I just know how to find it. Another chest there. Uh, this one's being stubborn. Where is it? Come on. Oh, close. There it is. Chest somewhere down there in the caves. Oh, and there's something else too. A small liar. All right, what about way over there? We got a Vault of Tartarus. Hey, it actually showed its icon. How about that? So, a little buggy. Uh, that looks like something, but it says no. Vault of Tartarus there. So, early indications are there's going to be lots and lots of activities to do. Constellation Challenge. Ambrosia, that one's actually decided to reveal itself. Chest there. Vault of Tartarus. I told you there'd be a lot of stuff. Oh, what was that? There we go. Another chest. Ambrosia. This appears to be something in this cliff. Very particular about its placement. There we go, another chest. Bolt of Tartarus again. Chest. Another Vault of Tartarus. Looking around for more stuff. Not seeing anything. Except for that. Ambrosia. Vault of Tartarus. Tartarus. Tartarus has been busy making vaults. All right, we got something right there. Ambrosia. That, huh. Okay, I don't remember that there being there. Uh, we got a chest over there. Chest. Oh, something down here. Oh, I had it. There we go, another chest. Probably a shipwreck. Chest over there. All right, I feel like we're almost there. Almost surveyed the entire area. There's Odysseus challenge. Chest. Did I just see something over there? No. All right, nothing over there apparently. And yeah. Pretty sure I got everything. I might have missed a few. I guess I could do one. Oh. All right. My objective. Vault of Tartarus. All right. Reveal the rift using Farside. That was the thing I was supposed to be doing, but I did all the extra stuff. All right. Just doing a quick sweep, seeing if I left anything behind. I did. There's a chest in there. 
Oh, something over there. Oh, got it. Small liar. And ambrosia. Oh, man, I missed a bunch of stuff over here. Chest. All right. Looks like that might be it. Nope. Here we go. Another chest. Something over there. All right, well, we got our work cut out for us. Something here as well. Oh, there we go. Another chest. Oh, something there. Another chest. All right. I think we're good now. I think so. All right, looks good. Life and death. The stranger struggling in the griffin's talons fell near that glowing rift on the small island. He needs a hero, quick. I think there's one. No, he's decapitated. Uh, what about, no, she was eaten. Who updated this Rolodex? Hades? Z. All right, and our objectives are jump in the pond below. And you can How to get down? The pond. All right, new quest, life and death. Our previous quest was completed. So you can see all of those icons we revealed. It's not letting me go back into Farsight, which makes me think I found them all. But if we open up the map, which I think is with this button. Nope, that goes to the menu. Let's see. You get the map with the touch. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there's a map. You can see all that stuff we revealed. So, oh, wow. It extended way out there. All right, well, anyways, when we extend to uh, new areas, we know of some of the stuff out there as well. But, yeah, all this stuff in here, all that ambrosia, it's going to be great. Uh, what else do we have to look at while we're here in the menus? Uh, in our inventory, we have... The Sword of Achilles, it's 20 damage, plus 30% damage with sword combo while health is full. And if we get it up to rank 4, it refills 80% of a health chunk on a perfect dodge. And uh, we need to visit the Forge of Hephaestus at the Hall of the Gods to upgrade it, and it takes some materials that we don't currently have. Uh, let's see, we have Robes of the New Olympian. They're 10 defense, plus 1 to health chunks, and at rank 4, plus 40% stun duration. Then we have our quest items, which as of now we have none. Alright, and then abilities. We have options here. I'm not going to go through these yet because I don't quite know what's good at this point. I haven't done a whole lot of fighting. But, um, we have 9 of 34. I don't know how many points that we have to spend. It kind of looks like there's none. Maybe I don't have any yet. Although, it's acting like I do, so. I don't know. Apparently, I can buy stuff, but as I said, I'm going to hold off on that until I know exactly what I want. Okay. And then... Let's just get caught up on tutorial stuff so we know the basics and don't miss out on uh, stuff that we should know. So, tutorials. Got navigation. The Golden Isle is a beautiful place worth exploring. Use the left stick to both walk and run. Double press the left stick to move forward automatically. Oh, is that an auto run? Interesting. Camera, make sure to get a good look at the amazing landscapes the Golden Isle has to offer. Use the right stick to move the camera around Phoenix and press the right stick to reset the camera to its default location or position. Uh, dodge, a well-timed dodge can create an opening in your enemy's defenses. Press square to dodge backwards or the left stick plus square to dodge in a chosen direction. Dodge an incoming enemy attack at the right moment to trigger a perfect dodge and create the opportunity to counterattack. So I'm sure that's going to be an important part of the game as we move forward. Jump. Lift those feet off the ground. Press X to jump. Hold it longer to jump higher. Jump on any climbable surface to start climbing higher. Climbing. Reach higher ground to explore far, far off horizons. 
Use the left stick when near a surface to climb it. Climbing consumes stamina, so running empty while climbing will make Phoenix fall, as I described earlier. Then we got our stamina. Even the toughest heroes need a break. Your stamina depletes when you do various actions, but it replenishes after a short rest when out of conflict. To manually restore stamina, press the right stick to use stamina potions, or hold to consume blue mushrooms if available. Running out of stamina causes exhaustion, preventing any effort that requires stamina until you've rested. You can find blue mushrooms along trails or near rocky areas. Then we have stamina regeneration. Hitting enemies with sword attacks will refill stamina. Stamina will regenerate differently depending on your difficulty settings. Consult the options menu to change difficulty settings and find the one that best suits your playstyle. Uh, swimming, which we did not do. While swimming, press circle to dive underwater. While underwater, press X to swim up and circle to swim down. But taking a dip can also be dangerous. Swimming consumes stamina and running out of it while swimming will cause Phoenix to faint and wash up on the nearest shore. Unparryable attacks. Pay attention to enemies when they're glowing red. It means they're preparing an unparryable attack. These attacks cannot be parried, big surprise, and can only be dodged. When off screen, there will be an indication for them. All right, then we got advanced, we got the combo meter. The combo meter reaches new combo stages after a certain amount of uninterrupted hits. Each combo stage further increases damage dealt to enemies, but getting hit resets the sequence. Some perks can also improve the effects of combo stages. So I did get up to a combo of about 14 on that first group. Uh, I didn't see any noticeable change, but uh, perhaps there was one that I missed. Then we got Farsight. Use Farsight to see farther, track quests, reveal icons, spot enemies, or place custom pins. Use it from high ground to spot interesting locations. Hold R3 to access Farsight. Revealing icons. Revealing vaults of Tartarus, Smith challenges, Ambrosia, or chests makes their icons visible in Farsight on the compass and on the map once a region is discovered. I think we looked at this before. And we got skills. Use skills to gain an edge in combat by extending your combos to deal additional damage. Some skills are helpful while exploring the world. Press the touchpad to open the menus and consult the abilities page. Inventory, we have weapons. Weapons can be acquired, upgraded, and customized throughout Phoenix's journey. They offer various perks, so try combining them to create different sets that suit your style. Press the touchpad to consult the inventory page and select a weapon to show its stats, available upgrades, and visual customizations. And then armor and helmets can be acquired, upgraded, and customized throughout Phoenix's journey. They offer various perks, so try combining them to create different sets that suit your style. Press the touchpad to consult the inventory page and select a gear to show its stats, available upgrades, and visual customizations. And then finally, we have the map. The map menu, use the map to locate your objectives, place custom pins, and track your progress while exploring the Golden Isle. Press the, or rather hold the touchpad to open the map. Compass, use the compass to locate objectives and areas of interest in your surroundings. We've seen that. Icons, various icons are visible on the map, the compass in Farsight and directly in the world. Hold the touchpad to open the map, hold R3 to access Farsight, press triangle to consult the legend while in the map and learn about icon descriptions and custom pins. Custom pins can be set on the map and through Farsight. Hold the touchpad to open the map and press X to set a custom pin. Hold R3 to access Farsight and press X to set a custom pin. So some interesting information in there. A lot of that was sort of uh, obvious, but uh, a couple things like the uh, perfect dodges, the unparryable attacks, uh, the combo meter, things like that. Not completely obvious. I mean, most games, when you get a combo, you get some sort of bonus, but good to, to know that that's a thing for sure. Alrighty, so we finished our first quest. We know where we're needing to go for the next one, and we'll be tackling that on the next video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.